When it boils down to reducing the airborne spread of COVID-19 in classrooms, a new study from the University of Central Florida says the answer is clear. In classroom environments or in any indoor environments that, you know, so long, so long as you keep using masks, the, 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 the need for social distancing isn't that important. Michael Kinzel, the study's co-author, says they created a computer model of a classroom with students and a teacher, all masked, sitting about four feet apart. The masks basically prevented the, the aerosols and droplets from going towards neighboring students, and it just went up to the ceiling because we exhale hot air. Using masks actually enables um, essentially classrooms to get packed in a little bit more. And, and, it, and it, I think it's, to me, it's one of the keys on how to get the economy and all industries kind of kick-started. He says a good ventilation system also reduced infection risk by 40 to 50 percent compared to a classroom with no ventilation. We don't want to relax mask usage. We want to relax social distancing. And we also want to start looking at, okay, can we open up windows or can we have our, make sure that our ventilation systems are actually properly working and designed. The research was first submitted last November for publication and was published in February. We actually had this research out before the CDC guidelines, so maybe, maybe it had a role, role in help, help having them make that decision. I don't know. Futuristically, when it comes to masks, how long will we be wearing them? My guess is that the, there will be a time where we don't wear masks. But I think the idea of wearing a mask when you're sick will probably, you know, persist beyond this. I'm Gail Pascal Brown, West 2 News.